Hey guys, welcome to my 27 week update. I thought that 27 weeks might be the start of my third trimester, but I looked on my app and it looks like it doesn't start until next week when I turn 28 weeks. So this is my last week in the second trimester. Crazy time is going by so fast. We'll start with baby. This week, baby is the size of a head of cauliflower. I don't really eat cauliflower that much, so I don't know how big that is, but it's said that baby is about somewhere around two pounds now. Big, like two pounds is big. I feel like the past couple weeks, like the new things about baby haven't been that cool <laughs> or interesting, but this week when I was looking at the app, I actually was interested reading about it. Biggest thing this week is baby can now open her eyes and see. Obviously there's not much to see, but they said because of this, like if you shine a light on your belly or like probably if you like lift up your shirt and like expose it to light or something, like they will react, which I thought was really cool. Also, what else? Oh, they said baby is sleeping and waking at regular intervals which is good, gotta get on a routine. That's, that's gonna be fun. Also, my app said that if baby was born now, they would probably be able to breathe, but they'd have to have a lot of medical help. But it is good to know, like, obviously the further along you are, like, the more, the better of a chance your baby has. But I think viability was back at like 24 weeks or something. So, I mean, like, we're way past that, but really every day is a, another day that baby develops more and becomes more independent, like self, self-sufficient at staying alive. <laughs> I don't know how I want to say that, but you get what I'm saying. So big week for baby. How I'm doing, I don't know, it's bittersweet being at the end of the second trimester. I'm sad I'm leaving it because as you all know, the second trimester is the easiest. Um, but I'm also happy that I'm at the end because that just means closer to baby being here and this being over, so good and bad. Biggest thing for me this week has been my back. My back has been hurting so bad lately. I have not pulled out my belly band yet, but I might do it today because it hurts so bad. I find I can't just like sit straight, like with my back straight up and down for too long because it just hurts. I think my belly's just getting too big and it's just like pulling and my back is trying to like counteract it and it's just not working. This happens like every pregnancy with me, so it's not new. I definitely think as my pregnancies go on, like the back hurts more. It just is what it is. So yeah, my back has really been hurting. Best thing I found to do is to lay on my side and that helps relieve the pressure. So I've been laying a lot on my side. My husband will come in the room and he'll be like, why are you laying? I'll be like, because my back hurts. So he's been giving me massages here and there, but yeah, it's just, my back has really been hurting. Also, I feel like I am huge. I'll input a picture here that I took last week when I turned 27 weeks. I take like weekly pictures with this little board and it just says a couple things about that week. And I went back and reviewed that picture after I had taken it and I was like shocked at how huge I looked. I don't think stripes helped, but it, oh my gosh, I was just like, I am huge. Like I am enormous. I cannot believe that. But then again, I can because it is getting so much harder for me to, as I've said last week, bend down and pick things up just to like get up. Like when I'm like getting into the car hurts, getting out of the car hurts, sitting down on the ground hurts, getting up off the ground hurts. Like it's so much harder to do little tasks here and there. I'm just feeling the weight and just feeling just how huge I am. Oh my gosh, I feel enormous. My heartburn has been kicking up. I've been having to do tums probably daily now. Unfortunately, I knew this was coming. And honestly, I lasted longer than I thought I would. But yeah, the Tums is definitely necessary. Usually it's just once a day, sometimes it's more, and usually it's just in the evening. But 
yeah, definitely need Tums. Especially when I'm like laying down on my side, that's when I feel heartburn the most. So, <sighs> not the best. I have been feeling baby move all the time. Lately, I've noticed it's been more um, like smooth movements. Like I swear I can feel like an elbow going across my belly at some points or just different things like that. And I remember feeling that in my previous pregnancies too. What shocks me with this pregnancy is I always feel the movement so low. I swear the other night I was like, I think it was the other night I was laying down and I swear she was like kicking my cervix. I was like, is she gonna like come out now? It was feeling like those kicks felt so low. Um, so I'm definitely gonna talk to my doctor about that because I don't know, I just, I wanna make sure that's okay. I do feel some movement, obviously like, I think, I'm hoping she's head down or soon will be head down. So obviously I feel most of it low, but then a little bit high here and there. But yes, I really haven't felt hiccups. I mean, I really don't sit that much except for in the evenings once the kids are in bed. So I really don't have the opportunity to feel hiccups that much, but I do feel tons of movement all the time. She's very active. Uh, and I think a lot of times I just don't think about it. Like I, I just feel it and I don't like log it. Like, oh yeah, that's her kicking. I'm just like, oh, I, I, doing a million other things and that's just another thing that's happening to me. So definitely been feeling her a lot though, which is good. I have my next doctor's appointment a little less than two weeks now. So that appointment, I'll do the glucose test and all that fun stuff. So I'm getting ready for that. Hopefully I don't have gestational diabetes. I haven't had it with my first two pregnancies, although I know every pregnancy is different. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. I don't really feel like I've had any swelling. All of my pregnancies, I really don't feel like I've had swelling. My ankles don't get too bad, my hands don't get too bad. So that's all been about normal. Really the only swelling is my belly. I am running out of shirts to wear. Um, this is actually a non-maternity shirt and it's probably one of the like three non-maternity shirts that I can still fit into. Mostly I have to wear maternity shirts. The hardest thing to fit into right now for me is night shirts because I don't really have like night maternity shirts. I just sleep in like graphic tees usually and um, my graphic tees are getting too tight on my belly. And this happens every pregnancy. Um, I'm gonna have to start using Anthony's shirts and wearing those to bed. So I haven't had to do that yet, but it is getting very close because I'm losing, like I swear every couple days I have to put another shirt in my like save for later pile because it just does not fit on my belly. Sometimes like it'll cover everything, but it'll just feel so tight on my belly and like stretchy that I just, like it makes me uncomfortable, so I, it has to be loose enough that it doesn't feel like I'm stretching it too much. No headaches, haven't been having um, any of that. Um, my sinuses haven't been too bad. I have to blow my nose once in the morning here or there. I'm still getting that tingly sensation once, sometimes twice a day, of just like all of a sudden like a tingle, like you have to sneeze, but then I never do sneeze, and so I'm just left with like this tingle. I hate it so much and there's like nothing I can do to stop it. I get that daily for sure. Sorry, I'm like leaning forward because I'm trying to like relieve pressure off my back. Oh, my back is hurting so bad. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it like 10 plus more weeks. Oh, it's just gonna get worse, especially in the third trimester. Definitely feeling more tired just don't have the energy. <laughs> I took the kids on a walk yesterday because it was actually warm outside and so we went to the park and back and I was like exhausted after that. So I'm really scared to be able to like keep up with the kids and keep up the energy. I'm very thankful that it's not summer because two kids in the summer and constantly doing like outdoor activities I think would be really hard for me. Thankfully in the winter, it's mostly just like playing in the basement or I can like sit on the couch and watch them or like help them build a Lego set or something, like something easy. So that hasn't been too bad. Bath time is getting hard because I have to like lean over <laughs> or even like putting, like picking up my kids. It's just hard because they're just getting heavy and 
I'm getting weaker. <laughs> I'm finding it hard to get comfortable at night. Still haven't brought out my pregnancy pillow, but I really should because maybe that would help me. Because I feel like I just need to like support my belly more as I'm laying on my side. So yeah, I just have a hard time getting comfortable at night and then I, I'm still dealing with like pregnancy insomnia here and there. Of just like waking up in the middle of the night and then I just can't go back to sleep. We still haven't come up with a name for baby girl. Still need to figure that out. Anthony was telling me the other day he kind of likes boy names that could go for like a boy or a girl, like Blake. It's typically a boy name, but it's been used for girls a lot more often. Or he likes Hayden, but I don't like either of those names. And he poo poos all my Y names. So yeah, we still have not gone anywhere with that. Still need to go out and buy a minivan, but we have time hopefully. And I still really haven't bought anything for baby other than clothes. Well, we have diapers, but I, I haven't bought it. Well, no, I did buy diapers. Costco is having a deal like around Black Friday. So I did buy diapers. Yeah, like any of like the sheets or nursery stuff, or I really want a new rocking chair, like haven't bought any of that yet. So just kind of taking it easy, taking it day by day. I do have to pee all the time. It's definitely increasing. I usually can't make it through the night. I have to pee at least once a night. Usually it's just once, around like 2.30 or 3. Um, but even during the day, like I just find myself always having to go to the bathroom all the time. And my kids love going to, with me in the bathroom so I never get privacy, it's great. <laughs> I find that I've been walking slower. It takes me a lot longer to get from one place to another. I am starting to do a little more of a waddle just because I have such a huge belly up in front. Uh, I, I don't feel like I've done a belly shot lately, so let me show you guys. Okay, I'm lifting up this baggy shirt because you won't be able to see it with that on, but my jeans are maternity jeans, obviously. So they have this like stretchy thing that goes all the way up, so. There it is, huge, huge belly. Like, I just look huge. Oh my goodness. Look, this baby is popping out. And I do feel like as the day goes on, like my belly does swell. Um, Cause like in the mornings I'll wake up and it won't be that bad. Like it won't be that big. And then as the day goes on, like I'll look down, like, oh my gosh, I feel like it grew. It looks bigger. And I think that's normal. It's just like, as you're moving more, you just, end up swelling a little bit more. But I think that's gonna be about it. Nothing too much, just um, mostly things with my back. So hopefully I can wear the belly band and kind of get some relief there. And I would say hopefully I can get my energy back, but it's just gonna keep depleting, especially now I'm heading into the third trimester. So yeah, that's, that's not really happening. I'm not really, craving anything, so nothing really exciting there. Yeah, so anyway, that's about it. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. My next video, I will be in the third trimester, almost ready for my next doctor's appointment. So make sure to subscribe because you'll wanna see more videos. Bye guys.